one to support the immigrant communities in Faribault, show they have support and that we're on their side. We are there for them if they need us. And the second is to be a strong voice for changing the ban and changing the direction our country is taking that is not America. Not America, not our values. It's ugly, racist, intolerant. I think we're making a huge mistake in banning people based on their religious beliefs. Um, it's That's not what America is. Well, support of immigrants. And one America. The protests are saying we are one. We are uh, together uh, when, uh, and immigrants are welcome in Faribault. So uh, that's the, the, the slogan they, they are using right now. Well, I really feel like our country's headed in the wrong direction. We are a nation of immigrants. Just about everybody here came from somewhere else. And I just am not in support of banning people that want to come here to flee war-torn areas. This is, this is a land of <laughs> opportunity and we have freedom to express our feelings, really. And we are very proud. All Americans came together, black, white, Hispanics, and we are sharing our 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 uh, our uh, our value that we are we are together and we respect each other and we are different faiths, but we are only all is Americans. Um, I'm here in support of our immigrant and refugee neighbors all across not only Rice County but across the country. And to me, that's what the United States is all about. Being welcomed into a country and made to feel well, you know, made to feel as if they belong here. We have a Statue of Liberty that says, "Bring us the people that need us, and we need them to make this a better country." <laughs> Donald Trump is wrong. I think very well. We've had a lot of uh, people come by, more honks for support than anything. There's been a little negativity, but it, that's not what this is about. It's about supporting our community. It's not about bashing anyone. It's really amazing. So amazing. Honestly, this show is If he can ban one religion, he can ban all religions. A government should not mingle with any religion, and no human being is illegal. And all of the red brick and everything, all that stuff is affecting our children. It, it makes us feel like we're deportables, and that's not true. You can't. driving by and waving at us and honking and we have a really good crowd here and it's really been just uh, energizing to come here and see everybody. Oh, a lot of positivity, a lot of honking and support, a lot of thumbs up. Uh, I haven't even seen anybody with any kind of negative yeah, remarks or gestures as we've been out here so it's been very positive. I'm very right. happy. Uh, we've had a few middle fingers but most of the time we get waves and peace signs thumbs and up. Oh, thumbs up. Thumbs so. up. <laughs> Mostly positive. Yeah, mostly. <laughs> Pretty good. I've seen, it's fun, you know. I've moved here in 1999 now, and this is the first time that I've ever been out on this on this protest strip here, where I've actually known people driving up and down the street. And there's a lot of positives. There's a little bit of negatives. What some guy flashed us a Trump sign, and some other guy went like this, you know. But for the most part, we're getting a lot of support from the people driving by. Lots of smiles, honking, the thumbs up stuff. So pretty well received. I think pretty good. I've seen a couple of um, this, but for the most part, I think people smile, honk, and and this is what's better. I mean, we we can try and influence the cars that are coming by or let people know our, our cause, but in the end, these people are. This is what's important: is that we're standing with each other.
everybody sees that, that this is the right thing to do. That, that there's a lot of people that are for having immigrants in this community and in this country. That there's a lot of people who are take care of each other and want to take care of each other here in Farrell and uh, we're going to help each other. Um, I would hope that more people would open their hearts and their minds and think about their neighbors. All of us, unless you're Native American, have ancestors who were immigrants, refugees, or slaves. And we need to care about our newest citizens. This is called the United States. It's a bunch of people came together here for freedom of religion. I wish people would study the history of this country because this is a country that's built on uh, people being different, that's built on uh, different coming from different countries and different religions. It's not a country for just one type of race. And I want people to understand that and that's what I want people to get out of all this. I hope it makes us all closer. Definitely. So I, I think unity, that's what it's about, building community. That's what America's about, building community, not tearing things apart or separating people. That more of Fairbo knows that we're here for our family and our neighbors, and we are here as love. So peace. Um, I would hope people who support Trump might see this, and even if they still do support Trump, maybe be questioning of what he's doing with especially the immigration ban and uh, anything that has to do with refugees. And I also think that the people here who are scared of experiencing a protest for the first time will feel motivated enough to do it again in the future. Maybe Donald Trump could actually swing more towards the center and actually see accept where we're coming from. And accept the immigrants. <laughs> I think to raise awareness, to get people to challenge their, their preconceived beliefs and see that this really is not the American way. Um, nearly all of us had immigrants in our background, uh, including me, and uh, it's no different now. And one time it was the Chinese or the Irish or the Italians. It's just the flavor of the month that we're going through and it's ridiculous. We should learn from the past. Immigrants, refugees, we are together. We stand together. Well, I really hope that all of America wakes up to the direction that we're headed right now and that really the focus of our country is about loving one another and caring for one another and and we are moving away from that at a very rapid pace and I really hope that people examine their conscience take a look at the tenets of their religious beliefs at their faith take a look at what they were taught as children and try to live up to that